Can you uh, thanks a lot, Quincy. Uh, I, I'm really excited to see my talk right after yours because they will be connected. Uh, for people who have no idea what Map is AI is or why Facebook, very quick summary. Uh, OpenStreetMap used in Facebook a lot. Uh, we have more than 100 cases when people do check-ins, uh, put something on the marketplace or for other application. We show in, in, on many surfaces OpenStreetMap as a background. That's why we are very interested in, in, in see very interested in seeing map uh, OpenStreetMap complete, correct, and with the right attribution uh, on all the surfaces. So, and Map is AI. We started this project about a year ago, and in fact presented about it in the state of the map US. Uh, the idea behind this project is uh, be, uh, can the computer assist with mapping, right? Can, can we, the computer make the mapping faster, uh, more precise uh, and exact. So we took the ID editor and enhanced it with uh, some version uh, of the road assisted mapping. And for the last year, we went through a lot of improvements. First of all, uh, we start with eight countries. And right now we cover the whole globe. So if you go to map with AI side in rapid, uh, you will see uh, the road uh, suggested for the whole globe. Uh, thousands of people have tried it. We have more than 800 thousand kilometers mapped. Uh, and I think it's hundreds, uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, different change set committed to OSM with, with rapid. Uh, next big step, and this happened around February. Uh, it was integrations with this Microsoft footprint, building footprints. Uh, this is a great data set. I'm going to talk a little bit about it later on. And they are current new features in the integration with Esri RGIS, RGIS data sets. Uh, this is not in full production yet, but please uh, join our workshop tomorrow. We are going to walk through the features. And in fact, my talk today is a heads up for our much longer workshop tomorrow. Uh, so for people not really familiar with computer assisted mapping, fundamentally on based on the fact that uh, computers are very good nowadays in detecting the roads and buildings from the, from the satellite images. Uh, this is the same model performing in Ethiopia. And you can see that the road detected, but this is a very interesting case, case here because it has false positives. On the top right, uh, top left, uh, top left and bottom right corners, you can see that computer detected the dry riverbeds as uh, streets because from satellite images they look very much like streets. That's why we need human uh, editors in order to validate the suggested changes, and we put a lot of checks into the rapid uh, in, to make sure that our edits are correct. So tomorrow we are going to spend a lot of time talking about the data quality improvements. How did we improve the deep neural network models? How do, did we improve, improve the vectorization and conflation to make sure that we come to the next level? And we constantly improving those models right now based very often on the user feedback. So please continue providing us feedback on, on our work. Um, this is a typical example of what was there a year ago versus what they're now. Not only we improved the detection, we also improved the connection, uh, connection part, which is very tedious vector-based algorithmic side of the project. Microsoft Buildings. Uh, again, um, thank you, Microsoft team, for supporting the project and making the building footprint, footprints available. Uh, it, we uh, connected to Microsoft Building Footprints uh, again in February. Right now, it's literally hundreds of millions of buildings available there. And more than 100 millions of buildings that are actually unmapped on the open street map. Uh, and you can see it in the rapid today. Uh, initially started with four countries, and now there is a new country, Australia, coming online. So the whole continent is available there. Uh, next stop is ArcGIS uh, uh, in Esri has enormous amount of very important mapping data, and we are very excited to announce our collaboration with with Esri and ArcGIS because unlike machine learning data set, this is data set that also have rich information about building addresses, for example, is absolutely unavailable for, for the satellite image data. So again, please join us tomorrow for the more information. Uh, in the workshop, we will we'll be going through a, a bunch of different uh, RGS data set, and we'll talk about uh, how you can add the new data set, how you can make sure that license is correct and compatible with OpenStreetMap, 
and how um, how we collect the community feedback feedback before making data sets available um, available in, in rapid. I'm running a bit a little bit uh, out of time now, so let me tell you that we'll also walk you through the case how to do organized mapping in Tasking Manager. And please, this is the most important slide probably how you can uh, see the map is I work right now. And please join us tomorrow for the full uh, full detail detailed workshop. Thank you.